Welcome to Homelink Training for Chamberlain, Liftmaster, and Craftsman Garage Doors. Depending on your vehicle, your mirror shape and buttons may vary, but are all compatible with the following programming instructions. Before programming Homelink, make sure that people and objects are out of the way and park your vehicle outside the garage. We recommend getting a new battery for your garage door remote for more accurate programming. If your garage door opener uses rolling code, you may need a stepladder or other sturdy safe device to reach the learn, smart, or program button later in the programming. Start by clearing your home link. To do this, press the outer two home link buttons for up to 10 seconds. Do not release until the indicator light changes from solid to flashing rapidly. Do not perform this step when training additional home link buttons. Press the homelink button you would like to train, and the homelink indicator light will begin blinking slowly. Holding your garage door remote one to three inches away, press and hold your garage door remote button. Do not release until the homelink indicator light changes from flashing slowly to either solid or flashing rapidly. Your garage door may be moving after this step, and it's important to allow it to stop completely before continuing. Press and hold the programmed homelink button for two seconds and release. Repeat the sequence up to three times to complete the programming process. If you have a fixed code device, your homelink indicator light will be solid, and pressing the trained homelink button should now activate your garage door. If your garage door is not functioning and the indicator light is flashing rapidly, you likely have a rolling code device and you've got a few more steps to complete. A second person may make the following steps quicker and easier. The next steps are time sensitive and may need to be tried multiple times. On your garage door opener in the garage, locate the Learn, Smart, or Program button. The shape and color may vary by manufacturer. Press the Learn, Smart, or Program button. Depending on the brand of your garage door opener, the indicator light may begin blinking. Within 30 seconds, return to your vehicle and press and release a programmed home link button. Repeat the press and release sequence up to three times to complete the training process. Homelink should now activate your rolling code equipped device. For some newer Chamberlain, Liftmaster, Craftsman, and Rainer garage doors, two-way communication may be enabled. Two-way communication allows you to see garage door movement and check the last known Homelink action of your garage door even if you're away from your garage. If the two-way feature in your vehicle's home link is properly activated, you can check the last known status by pressing buttons 1 and 2 simultaneously, or buttons 2 and 3 simultaneously. Your mirror will display the last known door status using arrow indicators. If your garage door opener has this functionality, home link mirror arrow indicators may appear after completion of programming, and no further programming will be needed. If your garage door is functioning, but you do not see the arrow indicators, Use the following instructions to enable the two-way communication functionality. In your vehicle, press and hold the programmed Homelink button for two seconds and release. Confirm the garage door is moving. When it stops, you will have about one minute to complete the following steps. A second person may make the following steps quicker and easier. You will likely need a stepladder to reach the Learn, Program, or Smart button on your garage door opener. On your garage door opener in the garage, locate the Learn, program, or smart button. If you have difficulty locating this button, reference the device's owner's manual. Press and release the learn, program, or smart button. A light on your garage door opener may flash, confirming completion of the two-way enrollment process. Pressing the programmed homelink button will now activate your garage door and show you when the door is moving and has finished moving. Two-way communication training is now complete. It is important that you retain your original garage or remote for use in other vehicles, as well as future homelink programming.